This one smells so freaking good on the skin, baby. Listen. What's up, loves, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing all of my fragrance purchases from Bath and Body Works for 2021. As you guys know, I purchased a lot of fragrances. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of fragrance videos and I have purchased a lot of fragrances this year in 2021 all the ones that i kept i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video so today is part one which will be bath and body works and the next upload will be part two which would be my victoria's secret purchases for 2021 first y'all but first today's sponsor is going to be dossier so if you guys do not know what dossier is they are an online fragrance company that specializes in making replicas of your favorite top designers such as chanel and tom ford and so forth and so on they make a lot of sense from like le labo i done fell in love with dossier they have they came into my life at a perfect time when you don't want to pay Full retail prices, these perfumes can go from $200 to $300 to $400. But on Dossier, all of their fragrances range from $29, $39, $49, and $59. So you get your Dossier box, and then you get your fragrance, and then you also get your little note card that tells you all about your fragrances. And the great thing about Dossier is if you do not like your fragrance 100%, you can return it back for 100% money back guaranteed you can either exchange it for a scent that you do like or you can just get your complete money back let's get into these two fragrances because these are my favorite my favorite first fragrance that I'm going to get into with you guys is going to be their floral Al Alderas Alderas I don't know I don't know how to say that but this is going to be their interpretation of the Chanel number no. five I tested out Chanel number no. five the actual perfume and it smelled so good and y'all when this came into the mail and I smelt it I was like I hope you got dang if I pay $138 for the real Chanel when this smells exactly like it when I say that this is the most beautiful sophisticated scent that you could ever find in your life this smells like a grown woman baby powder i'm wearing this scent today top notes are alderas neroli bergamot the middle notes are ylang ylang jasmine and may rose the base notes are vivita saddlewood and oris i don't know what none of them is but baby these things smell so good honey it broke the scale and it smells so spot on to the real Chanel number no. five. Y'all don't buy nothing else I tell y'all to buy. Y'all need to buy this. Okay, so the next scent is going to be their Woody Saddlewood, which is their interpretation of Le Labo Santal 33. So this fragrance right here has become really popular lately. If you haven't heard about Le Labo, they are a really popular scent that recently just started booming like you probably hear a lot of people talking about it this one is a very woodsy type of scent it smells really like a oak wood but she's expensive i cannot get enough of this it smells absolutely amazing the top notes is violet leaves cardamom whatever that is the middle notes are orris ambrox cedarwood cypress and the base notes are musk saddlewood and amber i don't know what none of them is but baby just like the last one this one smells really good like i said this is a perfect winter time fall time scent it's a really i don't even know how it's really fiery like it's spicy it's woodsy she smells really good really out of my comfort zone but i can tell you right now i'm gonna use this whole bottle anyways thank you so much dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video now let's go ahead and get into all of my buys for 2021 going in no particular order i'm going to start off with snowflakes and cashmere a really pretty recent purchase really sweet i give this one a 9 or a 10 she smells absolutely amazing I'm going to go through these really fast. If you want to hear about any of these scents, you can go and watch all my uploads. I promise you I done talked about every last one of these scents this year. So they're in one of those videos. You'll probably see it on either the thumbnail 
or you just gotta watch the video. Sweet Whiskey, another one that I recently purchased. Really sweet, a really marshmallowy type of scent. I give this one a nine as well. This is Merry Christmas, the raspberry and sugar because that cinnamon roll one, baby, she went back to the store because we can't do that. A really raspberry, citrusy, fruity type of smell. I give this one a 8.5. I rated any of these different in any of my other videos. I guarantee you they're in the same range of smelling really good. So all of them are going to be either a 8 between a 7.5 and a 10 be bonfire bash another one that's really marshmallowy perfect for the um the fall and winter time i give this one right here 8.5 as well it smells really good white pumpkin chai another really beautiful pumpkin fall autumn winter smelling scent i give this one a 9.5 this one smells so freaking good on the skin baby listen the next one is going to be Champagne, Apple, and Honey. Now, this is not my first time owning this. I actually have two bottles of this. This was an accidental buy, but baby, this one smells absolutely divine. And I give this one a 8.5. Next up on the list is going to be Love, which is Cotton Candy Champagne. Another one that smells super good, super candy-like. So I give this one a 8.5. She smells so good. Really pink sugar type of scent so sweet y'all so sweet mango mai tai this one a little basic but you can really smell the mango in it this is one of almost the only ones that i actually give a seven to like she almost went back to the store but i decided to keep her um she doesn't really get that much wear out of me we'll see when summertime roll around how much i use her but yeah she's definitely a seven this one right here surprised me, okay? So this is the Candid Violet Sorbet. She smells really good, really candy, really perfume type of candy. Smells like a nice, beautiful pie. And I give this one right here a eight. The Hope, which is Winter Peach, Marsh Winter Peach Marshmallow. Another one that really surprised me and really became one of my favorites this year. This one just smells so free. I'm telling you, if y'all don't have this, Please get this before they they sell out, before they don't have it anymore, before the holidays are over with, because I'm pretty sure she's probably gonna go away once the holidays are over. So if you don't have this one yet, I highly recommend it. If y'all don't get nothing I tell y'all to get out of this whole haul right here, get her. She smells so good. This is a 10 plus, okay? Next up, can never go wrong with a beautiful cherry scent. Leah 8.5. Cotton Candy Clouds, a beautiful one, a new one. I never smelled this one before until this year. I was using her a lot when I first got her, but kind of slowed down. I haven't used her in a while, but she is definitely one that I would definitely say get in your collection, especially if you like like pink sugar type of scents. And I give her a nine. Another one of my favorites, Champagne Sprinkles. She smells just like Skittles. And I give her a 9.5, a nine, she almost a 10. She's sitting, she's more than a 9.5, but not quite a 10. This is another one that almost went back to the store. I actually kept, because it smells so good, but it's just so subtle, but it's like the perfect vacation type of vibe. Perfume. She doesn't really stand out that much, so I give her a seven as well. The next one on my list is going to be Joy. So I know y'all like, girl, I thought she said Joy was stink. She is, I give her an absolute one in my book. She is definitely a one. She was all the way at the back of my collection and I forgot I had her, but sis is going back to the store. Ah, off me. Next up is going to be my baby. She wins out of all, everything on this list, which is fairy tale. A very beautiful, unique scent. Y'all don't even have to ask. She is a she is a hundred in my book. She's not even a ten. She is so beautiful. Okay, so down to the last couple scents. The next one we have is Pink Velvet Cupcake. She is delectable. Only a ten. She smells absolutely amazing. Okay, so Peace is another one that I kept, but she was on the fence. She almost got left at the store. But I mean, she smells okay. She this one is the Peace Ice Raspberry Bellini. I'm in, I'm on the fence about her. I'm I'm just confused. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. But other than that, it is a really nice scent. It does not stink at all, so I definitely give it like a 7.5 or like a 7. But it's something that if I had to get rid of a couple of my body sprays, she would be one of the ones to go. Up next, not a really a new one, something I kind of buy like yearly, a couple, every couple of years, which is cucumber melon. Smells really good, smells just like 
cucumbers and melon. I feel as though this scent, you get it from anywhere, it's gonna smell the same. I give this one right here an eight. One of the first ever body sprays that I've ever owned was cucumber and melon, so yeah. We have like a love relationship. Honey Wildflower, another one that really shocked me. I didn't expect myself to like this one, but she smells really good. A floral scent, very a very tolerable floral scent. She is a good one. I definitely give her an 8.5 as well. She really shocked me, I'm not even lying. So next up we have Sunshine Mimosa, which is another new one. Now this one, this one gives off really like summertime vibes. Like she's really pretty, but she's one that I could also kind of do without. I give her a 7.5 just because she does smell good, but if somebody was to ask me, can they have this bottle of perfume, I wouldn't hesitate to say, okay, go ahead and take it. You get what I'm saying? But if somebody else wanted her more than me, I would gladly give it to them with no problem. That is actually going to be it for my Bath and Body Works portion. Stay tuned for part two where I do all my Victoria's Secret. Y'all know y'all love Victoria's Secret fragrances. Those are my favorite fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your favorite scent of 2021 is or your top three favorite scents of 2021 if you can't pick just one. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video.